Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to play with some gel crowns. I know that it looks like that we've got colored pencils here, but if you watch my other videos, you'll know that I said I don't keep my pencils in the tins. I would rather have them in a case, but this serves well to keep my gel crowns in. So, let's move these things around and I'll show you what I got. I've got two different kinds here. And I know they're all mixed up, but I got Zare, Z-E-Y-A-R, and Mr. Pen. I don't know which way y'all are. Maybe that way. May not be able to see that because of the the silver. And we'll move this out the way. I got rid of the packaging, but this is the um, I kept this just so I would know the colors because this this brand actually has colored names for them. Very pretty, very, very pretty. Really like them. I saw somebody using these, not this particular brand, but gel crowns, and I got very curious. So I'll show you all the, this kind. We've got a pink. peach color. Sorry for the noise. Green. A greenish blue. Another like yellowish peach color. Maybe I should have got all these out before I start filming, you think? Let me see here. I think, nope, there's one more of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There was eight in this set. And there, you just twist them up. And it says they um, they advertise them as gel highlighters for Bibles. So you know how thin Bible paper is, so they're not gonna bleed through or anything. So that's this set, and then we'll just do it like this. <laughs> These are the Mr. Pens. I love Mr. Pen stuff. The best thing about Mr. Pen is you get. <laughs> you get the mustache uh, sticker with everything that you buy. So these, how many is in here? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. This was a 20 set. Um, I think it was, it was these. This brand here, it was on like, I paid like $3.99 for these on Amazon. They were on like um, Clarence Closeout, something like that. I don't know, but they weren't very much. And then the Mr. Pen, um, all of their products that I've ever used, I've liked them and they are very affordable. So what we're gonna do with all these gel crowns is I'm gonna show you how I use them. And we're gonna do a background for a picture. And what I do is I use these to blend the gel crown. Um, I think these work pretty well. I've seen people use like paper towel, um, different blending tools, anything that you, even your fingers, you can, you can blend them pretty easily. So that's what we're gonna do. So let me get all that set up and we will play with some gel crayons. 
Okay, first I think we're gonna swatch them on, this is just um, a mixed media paper from uh, Hobby Lobby. We'll just swatch the colors on here because, you know, it's fun to play with these, so we may as well do that. And I just realized that my furnace is running, so it probably sounds like a train behind me. I apologize. So, let's see. What do they do if we just put them on the paper? I don't know what's going to happen. We're going to find out together. But look at that. They actually do smooth out pretty well on this paper. I don't know that they would do this on like Amazon coloring paper, but at least on this, they do pretty well. Well, that'll skip a step on it. And we'll do this one. Ooh. That's like a mauve color. We're just gonna use the same one, see what happens. Oh, I'm probably juggling you. Yeah. Let's move this. There we go. Maybe that'll be a little better. Yeah. So, yeah. I would rather put them on something, I think, because I think that's a little, a little too much. They do blend better when you when you put them on something else. And then I don't know if you can see this over here, but I'm just wiping that off on my little towel here. Pretty seafoam green. I love these things. They're so fun to play with. And this is like a, almost like a peachy color, I guess. I guess you could probably, I should probably use this one since I was blue. You may be able to have some skin tones. I bet you can barely see that. I don't know how well that's gonna be seen in the camera, but you can layer you can definitely layer. Let's do that again. Scrape whatever there. Oh yeah. And then we've got this bluey green that Apparently did not pay attention when I put the cap on. Scraped a little bit. It'll be all right. This one had green, right? Oh, that'd make a nice sky. I like it. Let's put this over here so we know we did that. And then we've got, is it yellow? Yeah, it's yellow. It's like a, looks like, I'm really trying not to hold this underneath the light because I know it's probably glaring, but. Let's see how much I got on there. Nothing. All right, good. That's a nice yellow. Look at that. And then we've got another green. And again, I'm just scribbling them on the top of the, the pencil case over here.
it's a little lighter green. The light is like glaring down on this paper, so it's hard for me to kind of see exactly what it looks like. And then I'm messing with the paper because I got, I'm making it wet. Usually you wouldn't, uh, at least I wouldn't, I guess, be cleaning the brush off so much because you're gonna probably use it in a bigger space and be using the same kind of color, so. Just making sure there's not something on there. And this is the last one in this one. Ooh, that's a pretty yellow too. Look at there. Okay, well, that is the swatch of the Zayers. The gel highlighter for Bibles. That's those. Those are pretty. Alright, let me get set up for the next one. Alright, now we're going to play with the Mr. Pen brand. And I know that I said we're going to do a background. We're going to do that after this. I actually am filming this after I did the background because I thought it'd probably be a good idea to swatch all of them and let you see all the colors. That would be funner. So, let's start with the Mr. Pins. And we've got, these don't have a, um, they don't have a color on them, but yellow. Try not to make as big as circles because I took up a whole page with eight of them with the last one. That's a pretty color. I haven't used all of them. I've only used these a couple times. And here comes my furnace again, so sorry about the the train station noise there that you're fixing the hair. I ended up, after I swatched the last ones, had to take the videos off my phone to get some more space. So this is like an hour later. But I'm sure if you have a channel, you feel my pain with, there's never enough storage. <laughs> Do we want to do the white one? I don't know that the white one's going to even do anything. Let's see. Look how chalky that looks on there. Awesome. Let's see. Let's use this one. No, you don't see anything. Yeah, that's white. Let's see what happens if we do this. I mean, I can see it in person. I can see it, but I don't know if you'll be able to see that on the camera. Maybe. <laughs> Let's see. I'm trying to go from lighter. Oh, that's not it. <laughs> I grabbed a green one. I'm trying to go from the light colors to the dark ones, just, you know. Because wiping them off on the cloth is not exactly foolproof, you know. That one's really light. That's this one here. Yellow. 
This is the orangey yellow. I think you can see this. Pretty. Ooh, that's very bright. Get some more oranges. This looks just like regular orange. And I suppose you could just color with them like regular crown too, but I would think that there would be so much of it on the page that you would have to seal it with something. That's very bright. And I have not used them enough to know um, how bad or if at all that they transfer. I would think that they probably would because I mean, it's gel. Look at that color. Doesn't exactly match the, the lid, but. Oh, I like it. You can tell I haven't used them all, right? <laughs> I used the green ones for um, my video called 50 Shades of Green. I used those for um, the guy's hair. So I haven't really played with these too much and making a video is a perfect excuse to do it. Wow, that looks really dark, doesn't it? Maybe we should, let's just see what happens. It's brown. looked black though didn't it? Oh that's a nice brown. Nice. But this was a good excuse to play with them. Let y'all watch me swatch them I guess. If you're into that kind of thing that's really pretty. I think what I did when I got them was I scribbled on this thing to make sure that I could transfer them from the top of this lid to whatever I was coloring. And when I seen that was going to work, I'm like, great, that's where they're going to get stored. That is, what color was that one? crazy and use the black one right now. Let's see how that one works. How dark is it? Okay. And you can layer and layer and layer. This paper's not the greatest thing for these it looks like, but you know. It is what it is. It looks kind of fuzzy <laughs> in person. Let's go for the pinks. Let me see where I'm at with my time on my camera. Okay, seems to be good. The furnace is kicked off. We're gonna go for the pinks now. I mean, that really does look like a stick, don't it? <laughs> one I just used for the black. Probably this one. <laughs> Pretty. We got some more pinks. I'm fixing to have to clean the lid off for running out of room. Is 
that red or pink? It looks pink. Hmm. I suppose it is a different color than that one, isn't it? Last pink. So do y'all like swatching videos? Do you think they're boring? Do you want me to do more? I have a whole lot of colored pencils that I have not swatched. So if you like that kind of thing, let me know, leave a comment, and I'll film myself doing swatches. not usually my thing. Here's the red. Look at that red. Yeah, this definitely is like, at least on this, Marilyn Monroe lipstick red here. Let's see. It's pretty red. Okay, we got a few left. Let's try the greens. This is a bright green. We we'll use the bigger one for that. Pretty. This paper just hates it because it's damp. So the paper hates it, but like I said, when I used them before, I wasn't, you know, constantly getting these things wet. So I didn't have to worry about that. Nice. All right. Next page. Yeah, this is coffee. You'll see lots of my stuff embellished with that. <laughs> All right, let's clean this off. And like I said, I just use a Clorox wipe. Good as new. And last green one. This looks just like a true green. different color stuck in that one. Let's try that one again. Scribble, 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 scribble. Yes, much better. <laughs> Pretty. Okay, almost done here. Light blue. This set had a pretty good color range in my opinion. I feel like sometimes if you have too many colors, it's very overwhelming. There's a colored pencil. I can't remember what the brand is, but there's like 500 and something set. No way. I don't. I don't think I'd be able to deal with that. That's just too overwhelming to choose from that. Okay, dark blue. Pretty. I 
I can kind of see where these would be good for kids. Because they are washable, you know, so. But I could also see them pressing really hard and like literally destroying these two, so. And then we got two more. We got two purples. We'll do the dark purple first. Ooh, that's like a great purple. Purple's my favorite color. Oh, I like that. Very pretty, very pretty. Last one. Like a lilac purple. That looks like the same color. Let's try that again. Maybe have more than one brush. Maybe more than two, depending on how much you're going to use it. I'm not trying real hard over here to clean them. No, nope, they look pretty much the same to me. <laughs> they don't look like it in the pen, but they do look like it on the paper. Maybe this one's a little lighter. So, okay, now we'll cut to doing the background and you'll see how they work on coloring book paper. Okay, I figured this book would be the easiest one um, to show how they work, because they all, all the, all the pages in this book have backgrounds like this, so easy to do back. And the way I use these, I'm afraid to put this over here because I think I'm gonna blind you, but I'm just using the top of the, um, of the pencil tin that I keep them in. I just flip it over there and then I have just a damp rag and then my little blending tool here. And what are we gonna do the background? Which color? She looks like she may like some pink. So we'll use one of the uh, Mr. Pens, and the way I do it, you can actually put the top on there. Does it stay? No, it doesn't stay. But it looks like lipstick. It kind of has, for those of you that have never used gel crowns, I had never used them and was fascinated when I saw them. But they have the consistency of like lipstick. So I just color on here I really didn't think about the glare before I started this video so sorry if it's glaring at you and then I'll put the I don't know if they can dry out I guess they could I'm not sure but I put it on on top here and then I just pick up the pigment Onto this. And just smooth it out over the paper. I love these. I'm always, always looking for something to do a background because I always use colored pencil. And y'all know what a pain that is to do a background with colored pencil. It's just, I'm really not interested in that. It looks kind of red, don't it? Let's put a little bit more for the other side. We're just gonna color it on there again. And hopefully you can see that and not be blinded. It just, yeah, it's really, really smooth. I'm gonna guess that all these things are kind of the same because I've seen people 
compare these to the gelatos, which is what I really wanted, but I did not want to pay that price for them because I got both sets of these for under $10. So that's, that's kind of more my, my thing. But I really wanted to try the gelatos because they looked so interesting. And I've seen people compare gel crowns to the gelatos, so I guess they're the same thing. I don't know. And then we'll take the little one so we can get into the And they layer really well. They dry. Um, I don't know that I have tried to use anything over the top of them. So I don't know if you can use like gel pens, um, pencils, anything. I'm, I'm not sure. But we got our dark pink up here. And then to get the pigment off, then, I mean, they're water soluble they advertise these for children most of them so you know easy cleanup but I just wipe it on the the damp rag and obviously if you're gonna do this use something you don't care about because it's probably gonna stay I don't I don't know I can't tell you that maybe not it says they're washable so maybe they won't Okay, and then now we're just gonna use this other brand just to, so you can see both of them. I'm blinding you and making all sorts of noise in this video. I have no idea what this is gonna look like, but that's the way I roll, we'll see. And you just pick it up. And it's so easy to clean off of this lid. I just use like a, a Clorox wipe or something and just clean it off there. I mean, I could just use the rag too, I guess. Yeah. It's a little more blush pink like. Pretty. What other color? I'm gonna try to make it a little cohesive. Here's another one. It's kind of got a purple tint to it. Let's see what this one looks like. Oh yeah. Don't know if you can see that. That's pretty pink. <laughs> There's all kinds of different pink all around this girl. She's a pinky girl. And then if you're real concerned about, oh, there's nothing on that. That's right, I cleaned it. <laughs> From this side, smearing over there. Don't do that, but I don't care, it's fine. Let's get some more of this one. Put her down here. My brush was a little bit too wet. <laughs> 
got on this, smear the ink from that. So we'll fix that off camera. But anyway, this is how gel crowns work. And I really am thinking about getting another set just because I don't think you can have too many of them. <laughs> and they're really fun to play with. They're pretty cheap on Amazon, so if you've been curious, uh, I hope this helped a little bit to let you know what these things are like. They're really fun. They're, like I said, there's all so many different colors, black, white, green, blue, purple, pink, everything in between. Some of them have really big sets. Um, but yeah, there is my experience with gel crowns highly recommend. Thanks for watching y'all. Bye.